How do you build a scalable e-commerce business? Well, first and foremost, you cannot be fulfilling orders yourself. If you're storing inventory at your house, packing and shipping orders yourself, you'll be very limited in how much your business can grow. It's simply unsustainable. You also need to be conscious of the cost of your time. As a business owner, your time is better spent working on developing systems, marketing, and growth strategies rather than on fulfillment. So eventually, every growing e-commerce seller must find a third-party logistics or 3PL partner. So finding the right fulfillment center to store and fulfill your inventory is essential. Now it's worth reminding you guys that we live in an instant gratification society where when a consumer wants something, they don't want it a month from now. They don't even want it a week from now. They want it right now. And they will look for sellers and buy from the sellers who can ship them their orders the fastest. And we have Amazon to thank for that. They created the expectation of two day shipping when they launched Amazon Prime back in 2005. But what if you're not selling on Amazon or don't want to use Amazon's fulfillment centers? Let me introduce you to today's show's sponsor, ShipBob. ShipBob is a global logistics platform that fulfills e-commerce orders for direct-to-consumer brands. So this is how it works. When you sign up for ShipBob, they use their artificial intelligence to integrate with your store. Immediately your products will be imported into their system and then you can send them your physical inventory. As soon as a customer places an order on your website, they ship it from their nearest fulfillment center to the customer. So the process is completely automated. This is not only going to save you time by removing you from the equation, but builds the foundation for scalability. Now, what I love about ShipBob is that they are global. They've got fulfillment centers in the US, Canada, Europe, and Australia. And they also have over 20 locations in the US alone. This is really valuable because that means for your customers, they will be receiving their orders a lot faster. With ShipBob, you can divide your inventory and spread it out across all or some of their fulfillment centers. This means that if someone in Australia orders your product, they don't have to wait long to receive it and the shipping won't be super expensive because the order will be shipped locally versus internationally. And because ShipBob has over 20 locations in the US, they offer two-day ground shipping across the continental US. So this results in better customer experience, which in turn results in more positive reviews and returning customers. Now I wanna share with you a bit of my own experience. I used to have a wonderful 3PL partner, but the challenge was that they only had one location in Florida. That means all my inventory was stored in Florida. International orders took a long time to receive and the shipping was expensive. And even within the US, shipping could sometimes take a long time because the US is quite large. So one of my best tips for you guys when seeking out a fulfillment center is to work with one that has several locations within the USA and abroad. Another tip for you guys is to inquire about the fulfillment center's online interface. It's important that it's easy to use and analytics are clearly visible and downloadable. So right now I'm gonna hop behind my computer to show you ShipBob's user interface. You're gonna see that you can easily view your inventory levels. You can even request to get notifications when inventory is running low. You can see returns and all information about your inventory. So I have logged into my ShipBob demo account here to uh, show you guys what it looks like once you do have an account. There's a quick setup guide here uh, which you guys would go through when you are getting started. The first step is to integrate your store. Second step is to sync your products, then uh, edit your account settings, and then set up your inventory settings. So it's really quick, really fast. Um, over here, you can go and you can see all of your order information. So of course, you can always see order information on your store, but you can see all the orders that have been processed uh, through ShipBob over here. You can see whether they're processing, whether they're completed, on hold, exception, or canceled. You can also access all of your customers' information, name, email, and where they're from. Over here, you can actually get quotes on fulfillment costs. Um, so this is going to help you establish pricing. How much are you going to charge your customers for shipping um, if you are going to charge them for shipping? It can help you um, establish what the cost might be. And then that way you can provide accurate pricing on your website so that you are not going to be 
out of profit uh, like I was. <laughs> I, I underestimated how much shipping costs and I ended up um, losing money on my international orders for a period of time because I didn't charge enough for shipping. So you can see here the different zones um, and you can input all of your information. Then if you do have any kind of customer returns, you can see all of that information over here at this section. This is a demo account, so you're not gonna see any of that. And you can look at all your analytics and download this information. This is what your dashboard would look like. Again, this is a demo account. So that is it. I also want to show you guys, if you go to tatianajames.com slash shipbob, you can request a fulfillment quote. Um, so this is going to help you see what the cost might be and see if shipbob is the right fit for you. So this is the page that you'll see when you go to the link. I will also link it down below. If you believe that ShipBob can help you grow your e-commerce business, then request a fulfillment quote by visiting tatianajames.com slash shipbob. Let me know if you have any questions about fulfillment or ShipBob down below in the comment box and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and I will see you in my next video.